This is the project. It consists of two flip-flop circuits and three AND gates. And here's a closer look at the two flip-flop circuits. And this is the three AND gates. I started with building one of the flip-flops first and I do have a video about the operation of this circuit. I did that video a few months ago and there's a link to that video in the show more of this video. Once I got this flip-flop working then I built an identical one and then figured out a way of linking the two together which is that transistor at the bottom so that they are cascaded together in other words on the right that 100 ohm resistor there's a switch there when I operate the switch that flip-flop will toggle back and forth and at the right time it will also cause the left flip-flop to toggle now the right flip-flop will toggle exactly twice as fast as the left flip-flop circuit. This is the AND gate circuit. It consists of two NPN transistors and the input are through the two 10k ohm resistors. And how the AND gate works is I need two positive inputs before that LED will light. If I only have one positive input at either transistor, but it's only one input, that LED will not light. I also need two more AND gate circuits. Now I have all the components for this project. Now I need to wire the AND gates to the flip-flop circuits. And here's the first connections I made. And here's all the connections. Now those of you that are in Boolean algebra I've labeled the flip-flops starting at the left we have B and then to the right of that we have not B that's what the bar means and then we have A and then not A now what the A and not A means or the B and not B means is Let's say A is lit. Well, not A means it's not lit. Or if A is not lit, then not A is lit. So I think we just went around in a circle here, but we really didn't. <laughs> it takes a little while to get used to Boolean algebra. Okay, I went ahead and put those labels up at the AND gates and starting at the left there to get this the leftmost LED lit we have to have positive voltage at not B and not A. Then in the center it would be not B A 
and then all the way to the right, B not A. Let's demo this circuit so you can see how it works and we'll get back to this drawing. Here at zero, push the button, one, push it again, two, push it again, three, and one more time we'll be back at zero. This is what we saw in the video as I operated the switch and the flip-flop toggled, toggling the second flip-flop also. Let's stop this at the zero point where all the AND gate LEDs are off and let's take a look at the voltages coming out of the flip-flops. Here's the zero point and the positive voltages coming out of the flip-flops are always on the LEDs that are not lit and that's because on that side of the flip-flop the transistors are open. The other side those transistors are shorted that's why the LEDs are lit. Well we need the positive side and at the zero point what's positive here is B and A and they do go up to the AND gates but B goes to the first AND gate and A goes to the second AND gate but the other input is not positive so none of the LEDs are lit. Now when I toggled the flip-flop once, now not A is now positive and we get our first light. Notice not A also goes all the way over to the third LED but not B is not positive so we only have one light. Let's toggle the switch again. Now A and not B is positive so our second LED at the AND gate is lit. Let's toggle it one more time. Now not A and not B is positive and the third LED is lit. We'll let this run for a little bit so you can see the process of the AND gates decoding the output of the two flip-flops. I hope this video helped you understand the AND gate logic circuit and remember there's a link to how the flip-flop circuit works in the show more of this video thanks for watching